Guys and gals, State County Dale, back at you with another video. You know where I went, the Goodwill. But this time, I went to their outlet, which is by downtown Miami. And it's $1.59 a pound. No matter what you buy there, it's $1.59. I think the glassware is $1.29, but clothes and shoes, $1.59 a pound. Now there's a separate bag over here that I went to the Goodwill store right next to it, which is a regular store and got some great deals. But the clothes I'm gonna show you now is the outlet, which is a dollar, it doesn't matter what it is. It could be polo, it could be Versace, whatever, $1.59 a pound. So I'm gonna show you what I got yesterday. I'm gonna start out with, I got this nice polo fleece sweater for men's We're by Ralph Lauren. It's a medium, it's uh, like a lilac color, purple. Perfect condition, no rips, no tears. And my favorite part, zipper works. Again, Polo by Ralph Lauren. I'm sorry about the lighting, there you go. Remember, all this was $1.59 a pound. So next, you gotta look out for that. I'm buying all this sweater stuff because we got winter, it doesn't really get winter down here in South Florida, but all over the country it does get winter more or less, about 85% of the country. So I'm starting to stock up on winter clothes so I can start selling them in October, November, December. I'm going to list them now, but eBay has uh, sold until canceled or somebody buys it. So it could be going on for a long time, but I know this stuff will sell. Here's another thing. Columbia. Y'all know about Columbia Sportswear Company? High end. Here's another nice camel light brown sweater perfect condition obviously not new but oh let me go back to that polo i can probably flip that polo I, like i said it's a dollar 59 cents a pound for all these clothes i can flip that polo easily for 25 dollars it's columbia i can get 25 to 30 dollars for this nice sweater and this is a man's extra large which is good so the deals are out there you just gotta look for them next I can probably get about $25 to $30 for this too. This is Play Jack. It's a puffy vest. Male. This is size large. So again, nice condition, no stains. It's a button. You get $25 to $30 for this, especially in the next month or the month after. That's fine. I don't mind sitting on it because like I said, I paid $1.59 a pound. Next thing, I got Family Guy pajamas. See Family Guy? This stuff sells. And this is Family Guy. This is not some Chinese stuff. Family Guy, so this is a better uh, version. Again, this is probably for a small female. Medium, possibly. I can probably get this about $15 selling those. I had to pick this up. This was in the bin. This is a throw blanket. University of Miami, as y'all can see. Pick that up. I probably get ten bucks for it. Next thing, I picked this up. It's a BMW hat. These are going for about fifteen dollars. I probably paid. 75 cents for it, maybe half a pound if that. Like I said, it's $1.59 a pound for all the clothes and shoes and hats. So, 50 cents to 75 cents, I can, I can sell for at least 12 to $15. Another thing I gotta tell y'all, if you happen to go to Goodwill stores, not the regular stores, but their outlets, which has all the bins, and they have like 40 bins up and down these rows. And you gotta go through them, there's like 100 other people there. Invest in surgical gloves. I bought these at Walmart. They were like four dollars in a box of fifty. I prefer uh, for, blah, blah, prefer the blue ones because they're thicker, and more durable. One size fits all. Because when you're going through those bins, some of that stuff gets a little dirty, and you know you just don't want your hands touching it. You pick what you want, and you come home, you wash it gently. I don't bring it to my house. I take it to a um, 
what do you call it, uh, one of those neighborhood laundry mats because I don't want to put these clothes in my laundry uh, uh, washing machine. So I take it to one of these places, pay 75 cents a dollar to wash and a dollar to dry. So get those gloves. Next. This is a high-end product. This is female, size 7. This is free people. This is a high-end. You'll see it at Bloomingdale's, stuff like that. This stuff, I can probably get $30, $40 for this. It's velour or velvet. It's more like little bell bottoms. So, for female, size 7. Again, if you see that free people, get it. I don't care what, what type it is. Shirt, pants, it sells. I'm going to list all this stuff today. Now this, I'm going to get between $40 and $50. And you're going to laugh. Look up the uh, sales on eBay. Not listings, sales, comps. This is a vintage Nike windbreaker. And you can tell by the design. This is like late 80s, possibly early 90s. This is a Nike men's jacket. This is a size large. As you can see, it's Nike, the large. Again, here's the back of it. This is vintage. This vintage stuff sells, especially Nike, Adidas. I'll get $40 or $50 for this. Again, guys, $1.59 a pound downtown Miami. But whatever town or city you're in, Google uh, Goodwill Outlet. Not Google Store, Google Outlet, because that's where you'll find these bins. Okay, and this is usually stuff that don't sell in the stores or people bypass or whatever and gets put in the bins and find all these great deals. Next, even though I don't like this team, it's, but I had to pick it up because it's Alabama Crimson Tide, as you can see, Crimson Tide, and guess who makes it? Columbia Sportswear. I can probably sell this for $40. Again, Columbia Sportswear is a high-end men's apparel, also female as well, but this is a men's jacket. Small, but still, it'll sell. And on the back, it has Columbia as well. So this is a high end, 40 bucks for that. I don't like it because it's Alabama, but it'll make me money, so I don't care. Here's another thing I picked up. Got a Disney. And this is from actual Disney World. Walt Disney World, as you can see. So this was actually purchased at a Walt Disney World in Orlando, Florida. Look at, it's a hoodie, but look at the uh, graphics on it. Pretty nice, huh? It's a hoodie, and it's a size medium for male. But it runs a little big, probably, because I wear an extra large, this thing looks big, but it says medium. And it's a hoodie, it's got the zipper, it's got the, uh, I get a better camera. Let's get the Walt Disney World Magic Kingdom. Again, $1.59 a pound. It's about a, maybe a pound and a half. I probably maybe paid three bucks for it, if that. Again, I can probably get $25, $30 for this all day. Now, here's the cream of the crop. And I'm going to rise to the top. Look what I got here. I got a biker jacket. It says Florida Biker. On the back, this is the back. Got the flames. It's got the United States flag. United States. Look at the front patches. This is 100% leather. This whole thing's leather. And it's a extra large, which is good. This has a Vietnam veteran on here. It's got a pin of United States of America with a Harley Davidson. So these colors don't run. It's got another American flag. On this side, it says Operation Iraqi Freedom. So some type of veteran owned this jacket, airborne. It's got an American flag, and it's got the change. You can either have a regular button to here, or you can button with the change. And it's got all three. That, I'm going to list it for $149.99 or best offer. See, that's that's like one of a kind. I couldn't believe it. All the buttons work. Everything. Look at look at the, this. And one of the buttons. It says M I A, P O W. On each one of these. So, one forty nine ninety nine. 
dollar fifty nine a pound players. Now, I went next door and went to the regular Goodwill store, which is right next to the uh, outlet. Okay. Uh, these were five dollars, and these are cycling shoes. And these are going for between forty five and fifty dollars. Nice condition. Again, this is Venzo MX, male size 8, which is a good size because mostly cyclists are small guys. So again, cyclist shoes, looked them up, $5, 45 to $50 all day, every day. I picked up these vintage Nike Air trainers. Look at those. Still in good condition. Nike. It's got the Nike, ugh. It's got the Nike Air emblem there. Uh, you can see it right there, Nike Air. This is size 13. Great condition. Pick these up for six dollars. List them for 54.99. Another nice profit there. This is actually dark gray, light gray, white, and volt color, which is like a chartreuse. Next, these are practically barely worn. Look at those treads. Look at those Nike Air Max 90s, 1990s. This is it the Air Max? Look at that. Nice condition, barely worn. I paid seven dollars for it. Seems like a lot. Like I'm listed for sixty-four ninety-nine. Anytime you can make eight to nine times what you paid for is a heck of a day. Again. This is black, like a teal, aqua, and white. Great condition. All right. And last but not least, I picked these up for $5. And I got them because one reason we got Halloween coming up. These are women's high heel with skulls. It's almost like a velvet or velour. Great condition. So I picked them up for 5 bucks. I can sell them for 25 to $30. Well, that's pretty cool, isn't it? Skulls. So for Halloween, somebody will buy this for sure. Twenty-five, thirty dollars. Look at that. Well, don't be afraid to go to the women's section. All right, guys. There's deals out there. So again, I got a heck of a haul. Some of this stuff I've already listed, and about like twenty percent of it, eighty percent I haven't. Excuse me. But like I said, hit those Goodwill stores, man. And don't go in there flying. Look at each shirt in the women's section as well. Even if you go in the women's section, don't be embarrassed, guys, looking in the women's bra section at Goodwill. Because if you find that pink or you find that um, Victoria's Secret, that stuff sells, even if it's used. And yes, by law, you can resell used brawls. As long as they're in good condition, those are the ones I look forward to resell. Not with the wire thing ripped out of it and all that. But ones that are in decent shape, pick up pink which is Victoria's Secret or Victoria's Secret and especially in bigger sizes because that that's uh, money right there so again Goodwill outlet Google in your area they're usually open from 9 a.m. to 8 p.m. Monday through Saturday and like 10 a.m. to 5 p.m. on Sundays give or take so appreciate y'all watching please subscribe and go make that money